Breaking news, if you guys didn't already know, Ron Burgundy is awesome. Welcome back to my page and today's tutorial is going to show you guys a different style of converting a shirt into a really hot dress. So these Ron Burgundy shirts were created by the San Diego Chive chapter to raise money for charity and to expose their branch to the whole entire Chive nation. Now you can purchase these shirts if you like at chivonsandiego.storeenvy.com and if you're going to choose to convert them into dresses, make sure that you get either a triple XL or a double XL to make sure that there's enough length to make it into a dress. Now we're actually having a big meetup for this the San Diego Chive chapter in San Diego this coming Saturday, September 21st, and two of these dresses that I have created are actually being auctioned off for charity for Chive Charities. So this has been a really exciting adventure to take part of, and now I'm going to show you guys how to convert the shirts into dresses. So our first step is to take an existing form-fitting dress and lay that over the shirt and we're going to measure out about an inch and then cut along the existing shape of the dress and we're going to go all the way up to the shoulders and cut them off as you see me doing here and we're going to do that exact same step on the opposite side. Then take a shirt that has a very low side cut because this shirt dress does have a lot of side cleavage. So I'm going to take the one I'm already wearing because it's the perfect shape and pattern that I need. So then what we're going to do is lay that shirt pattern over the existing cutout that we have already created and we're going to make sure that all the sides even up so that we make sure that the armholes that we are about to create are nice and even and the perfect side length that we want. So once everything is laid out properly, you're going to go ahead and grab your fabric scissors and you're going to cut about a half inch away from the existing armholes on the tank top that you have laid over to create that armhole shape. Just fold over the shirt in half to make sure that both the armholes that you have just cut out are even and match up. And like I mentioned before, I'm making two extra dresses for charity to be auctioned off. So the first step in me creating the same exact pattern is to lay the two shirts over one another. everything is smoothed out, I'm going to take the dress pattern that I've already cut out and lay that over, making sure that everything lines up with one another, and then I'm going to take my fabric scissors and cut that exact same pattern that's already existing onto the two shirts that are underlaid. Once I am done cutting, I'll have three exact patterns that all match up with one another. Now that everything is cut, it is time to pin down our raw seams to allow for easy sewing once everything is pinned together. If you guys have not noticed, I've been having my little doggy helper this whole entire process. His name is Oreo, in case you guys are wondering or haven't seen him in my other videos. So now it's time for me to sew up my seams and it's very easy considering that I've already pinned everything in place so I'm just using my sewing machine to go over all of the pins and sew everything nice and finished. to get this dress fitting perfectly I'm going to put it onto my dress form and pin the side seams so that they contour the body beautifully. Once everything is pinned in 
place, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and close up both of the side seams. Now this is my favorite part, model fitting. I love seeing the creations finally on a human body and especially one as sexy as Rebecca's. So I'm taking the dress and making sure that it is custom fitted to her perfectly so I am pinning in the sides to make sure that it comes out looking like perfection. So here's that fashion illustration and here is the final look and design of the dresses. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope to see you guys hopefully at the San Diego 21st meetup and I hope to see you guys back here for some more video tutorials. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment your suggestions below. And of course, don't forget, stay classy.